Hey gang and welcome to another Animal Crossing video. I'm Crossing Channel and Nintendo has just dropped a new update patch for Animal Crossing New Horizons for the first time in about two months now, bringing us up to version 2.0.5. What exactly is in this new update though? Well, let's take a look at the official patch notes from Nintendo. So they mentioned that they have fixed some issues. Fixed an issue where the player could not progress through the explanation about Photopia under specific conditions after moving to another island. A very specific bug here that it must have taken them quite a while to figure out, but it's really good that they're still taking the time to fix all the issues in the game because of course these do impact how people can enjoy the experience. Fix an issue where the game would not progress after a message was displayed when a conversation had started and a lot of furniture items have been placed on the island. This is really interesting to me that furniture items are being mentioned here, especially a lot of them, when Nintendo still hasn't fixed the issue with furniture items kind of fading in and out, and the sort of lag that you can get with having tons of furniture items on your island, so hopefully they will address that in the future, but honestly, I'm not so sure. Fix an issue where Luna would repeat the explanation related to search by island name option over again. I've not seen this myself personally and I haven't really seen anyone else mention this but it seems like such a specific bug that I guess not a lot of people really would notice. Fix an issue where island residents would wear custom designs of a different pattern type than how the custom designs displayed in the tailor shop. Again, I haven't really seen this one, I haven't seen anyone talk about it. It does seem super specific, but I'm still happy that Nintendo is taking the time to fix minor little issues like this to improve the game. Fix an issue where an island resident visiting a player's home would remain in the player's home after the player used the Room Sketch app. The Happy Home Network app or the Custom Designs portal during the visit. That actually sounds kind of funny and kind of creepy at the same time, so hey, maybe it's good that Nintendo decided to fix that finally. Fix an issue where a player would use a door decoration when remodeling the home of an island resident, but the door decoration would sometimes be removed when a new day started. Now, of course, these are all just simple bug fixes for the main game, but one really interesting thing they do mention at the end is other adjustments and corrections were made to improve the gameplay experience. Now, I would usually just assume these are very minor, generic things that they don't even need to mention, and that could very well be the case. However, we did learn in the last update, the minor patch of 2.0.4, they did actually add in the new feature of gyroids spawning in on your beach, and some adjustments with Katrina, as well as a bunch of new items related related to the Zodiacs as well. So I'd be really curious if there is anything kind of hidden in the game that they didn't mention here in the patch notes just for us to kind of discover ourselves because they didn't mention any of that stuff in the last pa patch notes at all. So it does make you wonder if there's something out there. If there is, I'll definitely make sure to let you guys know. They've also fixed some issues related to the DLC. Fix an issue where the player could not progress past the loading screen when trying to revisit a vacation home if the player previously released an ant or a fly in the yard of that vacation home while the conditions for ants or flies to appear were not met. That is super specific and something that I've never experienced myself or really seen anyone else experience, but hey, it's good they've fixed it. Fix an issue where subsequent events would not progress properly if the player closed the software during a specific point while working on a facility. Interesting, it sounds like that might have something to the autosave feature in the game, I don't really know. And they also mentioned other adjustments and corrections were made to improve the gameplay experience. Once again, that interesting line which definitely does intrigue me, especially considering they didn't use that line in the previous one, they just said other fixes have also been made, and as you can see, they didn't mention the fact they added gyroids to the beach, all the Katrina changes, all the new items at all, they didn't mention that. So this is actually a new piece of text which we haven't seen them say before in these patch notes. So yeah, I know it's nothing crazy, and I know it's not a proper update that's going to get people really excited, but I know a lot of people are going to log on to the game and be confused about what has changed and want more specific details about what's going on in the game. So I hope you did find it helpful, and if you did, be sure to leave a like to support the content. If you made it to the end, be sure to comment Bob's Gang down below. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more Animal Crossing videos. I want to give a big thanks to these channel members for their continued support of me and what I do here on this channel. If you want to become a channel member, click the join button down below the video or the link in the description to learn more. You can get a whole bunch of cool perks like exclusive emojis, a badge by your name, access to our members only discord and our members only podcast too.